Race seven is the first County Fair Challenge race for 2003. Win, play, show, exact, a trifecta wagering. Horses have earned the right to start in this race this evening by scoring points throughout the summer on the statewide County Fair circuit. $15,000 on the line. Let's meet the starters for these three-year-old trotting Colts and Geldings. Number one, Dakota Victor, owned, trained, and driven by Jay DeLong of Clinton, Wisconsin. Number two, Kerboom, is owned by Bill and Brenda Langdon of Tams, trained by Candy Schooley. The driver is Tom T. Tietrich. Number three is Scott T. Yankee, owned by Craig and Sherry Banks of Charleston, Illinois, and by Joshua Banks of Cannon Falls, Minnesota, trained and driven by Craig Banks. Number four, Dangerous Bow, is owned and trained by Robert Maples of Newton, the driver, Fred Finn, Jr., Number five is Holly Hill Forever, owned by Orville Rush of Taylor Ridge and Gary Williams of Milan, trained by Brandon Alford of Rushville, the driver, Dave McGee. Number six, Heather Gavin, is owned by Homer Hinkey of Morrow, Illinois, trained by Bob Walker of Carrollton, the driver is Andy Miller. Number seven, Marching Warnick, is owned by Robert Chambliss of Jackson, Mississippi, trained and driven by Carrollton's Doug Talley. Number eight, Ridgeville Farm Boys, owned by Gary Kembro, Gene Burton, and Danny Moore of Browning and Rushville, trained by Danny Moore of Rushville. The driver is Ron Marsh. Number nine is Harry Ears, owned, trained, and driven by Tim Bredberg of Springfield, Illinois. And number 10 is Bowliner, owned by Tom Parker of Muhammad, trained and driven by John David Finn. Here they come. They are off and trotting. Ridgeville Farm Boys goes out for the lead. Kerboom is showing speed toward the inside as they move into the first turn. And Scott T. Yankee is right there toward the rail and moves up into the second position. Kerboom has the lead by a length. Scott T. Yankee goes second by three parts of a length. Ridgeville Farm Boys is third. Dangerous Bow is fourth. Heather Gavin is fifth. Dakota Victor, sixth. Harry Ears is seventh. Marching Warnick, eighth. Bowliner, ninth and Holly Hill forever is 10th and last, a dozen lengths off the lead. 29 seconds, the time for the opening quarter. Kerboom leads it a length and a half. Scott T. Yankee gets a perfect trip in second. Ridgeville Farm Boys is still parked in third. Dangerous Bow is four lengths off the lead in fourth. Then Heather Gavin, Dakota Victor, and Harry Ears, Marching Warnick, Bowliner, and Holly Hill forever to complete the field. Approaching the half, Kerboom shows the way, leading Scott T. Yankee by a length. Ridgeville Farm Boys is still parked third. He's two lengths off the lead. Then Dangerous Bow, Heather Gavin, Dakota Victor, and Harry Ears. They got the half in 59 and 1. Kerboom leads it by a length at the entry to the far turn. Scott T. Yankee second a half length. The Ridgeville Farm Boys, who's lingering third. Dangerous Bow to his inside moves up and takes third and neck. He's two lengths off the lead. Heather Gavin swings three wide from the center of the pack. He's got five lengths to make up. Marching Warnick to his inside. Then Harry Ears. Holly Hill forever is still absolutely last. And here comes Scott T. Yankee to challenge the leader. Kerboom leads it three parts of a length. Scott T. Yankee is on the outside. Dangerous Bo picks up the leaders. He's two lengths away in third. Three quarters, 129 and three. Kerboom, Scott T. Yankee. They are the top two with Dangerous Bow in third. Harry Ears is out in the center of the racetrack as they turn for home. Scott T. Yankee gets the lead. Dangerous Bow coming between horses. Kerboom drops back in third. Marching Warnick is on the far outside along with Harry Ears, but Scott T. Yankee has the lead. Kerboom second. Dangerous Bow is third. Scott T. Yankee bounces back to win it by two and a half lengths. Dangerous Bow was home second. Harry Ears on the grandstand side appeared to get third in 159 and two-fifths. And folks, this trotter has been kind of a puzzlement of lately for Craig Banks. He was the beaten favorite at Springfield. He broke stride three times at Greenup and was fourth the other day, and he bounces back to win today. How about a hand for Scott T. Yankee with Craig Banks? Number four, Dangerous Bow second. The nine, Harry Ears was third. The one, Dakota Victor, fourth. 159 and two. In the County Fair Challenge, Chuck Hartke, our Director of Agriculture for the State of Illinois, making the presentation of the trophy. Chuck, come on up here a minute. First, let's talk to Chuck Hartke. Chuck. 
We saw you at the State Fair at Springfield. You've taken time to be with us here at DeCoin tonight. I get the impression you enjoy genuinely coming out to these harness races. Look, I really like the harness races. We're in Brown County as well, as you recall. And it's just great being here at DeCoin State Fair, the other half of State Fairs in Illinois. Absolutely. And Chuck, it's always fun to be in the winter circle, isn't it? Absolutely. And uh, we're looking for some great things in the World Trotting Derby and all the rest of the races here in the DeCoin State Fair. Director Harkey, we appreciate it. We're going to talk to our winning co-owner, Sherry Banks. Craig and Sherry Banks of Charleston and Craig's son, Joshua Banks of Cannon Falls, Minnesota, the owners. Sherry, this horse had a few problems at Green Up. You've been pointing for this race all year. Has this been a nerve-wracking weekend for you and Craig? Actually, no. We just decided that the horse was going to do whatever he did, would, would, would do. We had a lot of confidence in him, and, and we've been very blessed. I know that Paul Phillips, the co-breeder of this horse, has been under the weather of late. We have seen him out at a few fairs. How's Paul doing right now? He's not doing too bad. Um, just a little tired, but I'd like to say hi to my dad and tell him thank you for this colt. Sherry Banks saying thanks to her father, Paul Phillips. Sherry, thanks for visiting with us. Congratulations. Thank you. Sherry Banks. Sherry Banks, folks, how about a hand for Sherry? Run down in a moment. 